hi guys uh, my name is Imran and today uh, I will show you guys uh, how you can uh, cr create uh, EMR in AWS and uh, I have a, a problem uh, that uh, uh, we have to you know uh, uh, have a program uh, have uh, with the mapper and reducer mapper will uh, just uh, read the file from the file and then uh, print every word uh, with count one and the reducer will then uh, pick the words and uh, count each word and at the end it will like, produce a top 100 word in that file so this is like a simple program and this is the input file which is uh, I just uh, made it uh, uh, random uh, with a random paragraph so let's just start it uh, we need uh, s3 bucket uh, which will contain our um, uh, input files so let's just create a bucket so we can name it is my name is Imran Amish so I is testing v1 and I can uh, unblock the public access and acknowledge it now let's just create a bucket so bucket is uh, created successfully so let's uh, upload the file in the bucket so in this folder i will go to cloud computing assignment one so these are three files one is reducer mapper and input which is a test file to test uh, this program so files are uploaded so we need to create uh, emr for that so let's just go to EMR and here we can uh, leave the default name and logging in the default folder and uh, we can uh, like uh, uh, leave it as it is and here I have this thing to uh, access the cluster and I can leave everything as default setting so it will uh, take some time uh, to create a cluster and after that uh, there is uh, one step of uh, setup of Hadoop which will also take some time so I am pausing this video so after like uh, completing this step I will resume that so the cluster is ready and if we go to the steps it's completed now so to reduce uh, to run a uh, mapper reduce program uh, you need to add a step here and then a streaming program and then you have to give the mapper here like this and uh, reducer like this and then you have to set the input path location and here you can set the output path so I can select this bucket and then output as folder and uh, you can uh, then add the step so I noticed that uh, my program is written in uh, Python 3 or above uh, you can see the syntax of the program like this so by default uh, this uh, cluster has uh, a Python version of 4 so my step uh, will probably fail uh, but uh, I have this command so I can uh, go to cluster itself and run it uh, manually so for that I need uh, like a tool called Pit, uh, putty so I can open that tool and uh, I can copy my the URL of the cluster and uh, for that uh, you need to connect using auth uh, using the key value pair you have created I have uh, created the dot pkk file uh, using my uh, key uh, value pair that I downloaded before so I can open it so I have to give the password which I set uh, while creating dot pkk file so it logged in to my cluster so if uh, I can refresh this it's still running but uh, it will uh, have failed because uh, my program is written in Python 3 and uh, the default version you can see that if I can check the Python version 
so the default version is 2.7.16 so it will fail so let's wait for a while yes you can see that this step is failed so what we have to do is just copy this uh, command and then oops sorry it's wrong then paste it on the cluster so what do we need to change in this is the mapper inducer file we have to run it by python 3 as python 3 is already installed in this server so you just have to write like python 3 and mapper.py and then for reducer as well we have to write python 3 and reducer.py so yeah, you run this it will take some time to run the job so you can see it is running mapper and reducer and it start running the mapper so mapper is completed and now it is executing the reducer and uh, after successful uh, uh, executing it uh, log the data in the output location so let's just check the output location so here is our bucket and this is the output folder and these are the result of the output so we can open and obviously download that as well so i can download it this thing and i can open using notepad so you can see the words with the count so that's pretty much it for this tutorial